Hey everyone. So imagine we have a button right here inside this div and this button is initially disabled. Let me bump the font a little bit. You want to click on this button. So you probably will add an assertion should not be disabled and then click. And this works. Notice that for a second it retries and when assertion passes, the button is enabled and we can click. But strictly speaking, even though it makes it very, very clear that the button was disabled and when it should be enabled, it's optional. Side click command already checks if the button is present, visible, and not disabled. It does it right here. Notice it retries and then clicks. There is one more trick or tip I want to show in this particular example. Notice our markup. We have a div, there is a label, and then there is a button. So a lot of people will find the button by using the label. And the way they'll do it would be something like this. Contains label with text my button. And what do we do next? We'll go to the parent and then we'll find the button. And yeah, it works. But there is a better way to avoid splitting a single query into multiple commands. And this is relying on jQuery selectors. So think about what we're trying to do first. We're trying to find a div with a label that contains text, my button. And once we find this div, inside there is a child button. So we can write it using a single query. We'll say, get me a div. Okay. And this div has certain other elements inside. And then once you find the div with those elements, I want to find a button and I want to click on it. Now, what does the div have to have inside? Well, it has a label that contains, and we have to quote text, my button. Perfect. A single, somewhat complicated query, but it expresses the meaning of what you're trying to find pretty well. Get me the div that has a label with text my button and from the div find the child button. Modern CSS selectors with jQuery additions are really, really powerful.